Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. Today I'm here on the brand new Sammamish River Bridge that connects uh, from 68th Avenue in uh, on the north side to Juanita Drive, basically the Burke Gilman Trail along the Lake Washington Loop. And this is a fantastic improvement as basically I remember when I first wrote this, you had to just merge with really bad traffic on not so great tarmac as well and just hope for the best. But now there's a really nice path as well as some really good views here of the Sammamish River. You can see people kayaking from time to time and even put this nice sculpture here. So we're going to go ahead and start at one of the ends and I'll show you what it's like riding to the other side. All right, so we're here on the south end uh, on Simmons Avenue and then we're turning here onto the new bridge and shared pathway. So this is really awesome as it's really wide and there's space for both cyclists and pedestrians. And riding here, it's going to be a major useful connection for those uh, riding from the Burke Gilman Trail and wanting to come into the Juanita Kirkland area. Juanita Drive has been a long uh, sort of quintessential part of the Lake Washington Loop, but probably one of the worst in two, fa in two fashions, the construction ever going and the hill. Uh, but uh, you can see there was some green paint markings just to indicate the uh, wide driveways that are along this route but it's really neat what they've done here uh, as well as the east side of the bridge they're going to be building out a sidewalk it's currently closed but this was the sculpture that was on the left and a nice bench for you to get a lot of these Sammamish River views and yeah let me know in the comments if you'll be using this how you feel uh, the improvement is from before as I think it's just such a godsend compared to what was la riding here for the longest time. But also, if you enjoyed this video, please roll over the like button and subscribe. And then the last thing I wanted to call out here was the way you can connect onto the Burke Gilman Trail. You can actually go all the way to the end or you can turn onto 175th and ride some local roads and connect through. If you do connect at the end of the road, you do have to ride on the sidewalk for a little bit. But that's about it for this. Yeah, awesome improvement and lots of videos to come soon about other construction projects in the area. See you next time.